Why, hello there, this is your good Thomas Friend 74 and I got another player all item for you guys, is this here. This is actually one of the sets I actually wanted to have for, actually for a few months now. Um, as you can see, it's the JR500 class basic set. Uh, that's typically means starter sets in Japan. In, it's just called a basic set. Here we look around this box. See, that's the entire set. This also has the minifigures. So that's the set it's going to have. There's going to be some brand new prizes to add to add in my collection. And there is the train. A little bit of its info. JR500 West Japan. Some of its contents you see right there. Very interesting. Sentry right here. Another set and again another one of those. Top view. Again has all those same info, but it also has a handle. I think only the smaller sets have handles, big ones don't. Another side view of this. And on the bottom we have the line where and all the stations it runs in Japan and the basic info and uh, the train's top speed on this one is 300 kilometers an hour that's actually very fast a lot faster than the East Eye so yeah this one's definitely is built for speed and of course as I saw in the East Eye video the instructions are on the box on the back of the box the ST number is 04 so it means 2004 but I think this set was released a couple years early. I think in 2002 started this. But I'm not too certain on that. And there are some extra more components. And I think I have enough components to build that set right there to recreate that. So, I'll go ahead and open the box for you. Here we go. So it has a lid on. Um... Well, I think this was like a birthday present or Christmas present for a girl called Morgan in 2007. I guess I own that set. It's probably part of her. Okay. Well, it wouldn't be too hard, wouldn't it? Okay, so here are the contents on this set. And I'm actually happy to say... This is 100% complete! Yep, all the components is right here. The set has to come with three ramps, two left and one right, seven curved track, four overhead wires, a bridge support, signal with the stand, the minifigures, this elevated rail track, this station, and this curved tunnel. Set of points, and the JR500 class. Okay, so 100% complete. That's really like. So I'll go over the contents one by one. Obviously, I'll first start off with the train. This is, of course, as I said, the JR500 class Shinkansen, West Japan. And this one is surprisingly in amazing condition. There might be some bit of scratches, and uh, there is some bit of paint chipping right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I did see a little bit of a paint chip. But I think other than that, it's actually very clean. Of course, this is used, but very nicely looking. And of course, there's also the headlights, which are, of course are painted, which do look very ridiculous. But you gotta remember, back then... This was kind of an impossible task to have, like, this series of trains, a Shinkansen, to have actual headlights. That was kind of an near impossible task. Of course, Plural did have success with the East Eye, but some others, that was kind of impossible. And sometimes Plural had to paint the headlights. It was the only way for that to work. Even though there's some other trains, like the D51, which also has an operating headlight, which did help, and some of the RC trains Player all made. But most of the time, it will always be this, as it's impossible back then to have 
uh, operating headlight with uh, the string constant. And here's a top view. Here's your on-off switch, and it's the blue switch, so it's a two-speed unit. And here it's chassis. It says Tommy 1996, made in Thailand. Which is typical for these back in the day. They were made in Thailand before in Vietnam. This is the middle coach, as you can see. I like the amount of detail they have here. It does look, reminds me like some of the other bullet trains that usually have this. Uh, there's nothing on inside. Uh, it's not a sound variant. Um, sound variant on the Jari 500 class doesn't exist. There is no other version of this as a sound variant. It never will. But very nice looking coach. Of course, it's always going to be the same on the back side as well. It's the top view. There's a good look at the pantograph, as you can see. And the bottom view, of course, is says Tomi, Thailand, as a typical unit. This is the back coach of this. And nothing the same is. Nothing is really different from this in the front coach. Obviously, there is no switch up there at the top. It still says Tomi, made in Thailand, but obviously for back coaches, if it's going in the back, it has red lights. Now we're going to some of these accessories. So let me move these first, because I want to talk about this, which is the curved tunnel. The first one I ever have. And as we look around, this is a very interesting tunnel. You can see some of the brick detailing right here. Nice bit of green here to resemble the grass. Brick looking very nice. And here's the, um, what's the inside of it? Uh, it says Tommy 2001. But you are also seeing something like this, which looks like a compartment. Well, why does it have that? Well, in the future, if I'll be able to, I will get another one of this that actually will show what this feature does. It actually goes to a, you know, this sound variant train, which I actually do have that listed down, uh, that does take advantage of what was here originally. But obviously that's been removed because it had no use. We have this, which is the signal, as I, of course, some of you probably already seen this. But it's, of course, it's the Japanese version, so obviously, red is stop, but in Japan, instead of green, it's blue. And this one has the base, which was missing on the East Eye set, which it never had. But of course, I've already shown you that uh, you could put this in the slots of the uh, risers. This has been actually used not just for the signals, Tommy uses for the trees, and... For this, I've seen this before. Of course, all the overhead head wires. I actually have now four more. The East I said had three. Now I have seven. Looking very nice. And we have this elevated rail track. That's actually what it's called. Obviously, we'll have some risers right here, which are gray, to make it look like it's one of those elevated bridges. And you can see this one clearly says Play Well instead of Tomy. Of course, this one says 1998 Tomy made in Thailand. Um, this is actually my second one that I usually have. The first one is here, which is from the East I set again. And uh, you have it like that. It still looks very nice. Of course, there's also curve tracks released for it. Of course. These are the minifigures. At long last. So here we have one. This is the... Um, like a passenger, obviously. The face really does look like a from a manga anime. Because see, it's from Japan. With a very nice looking hat. Uh, the arms are actually connected together, so they move like this, including the legs. And we take a look at the back. Uh, this one actually has a backpack. Very interesting. Of course, the heads do, like, move. 
as you can see. Very nice. Uh, the set has two of them, and here's the other one. Which I think this is uh, like a Station Master. Does look like one. And it's actually a girl. Again, same, same. And it's in the outfit of a uh, Station Master. It's looking very nice. Uh, nothing there on the back, but love the detail they put into this minifigure. They really did an amazing job. I want to see what other minifigures can I get that uh, Playroll has. Because this is really amazing. Ah, yes. Now we have this station. Finally, for the first time ever getting one of these. So, we can see about the station part here. I think this one says, it's pronounced Kyosuta, Kyosuke, I hope. Uh, that's probably its name right there. And to the other locations, it's actually very tiny, you can barely read them. Uh, probably, of course, they're all in Japanese. Uh, it's Rail 1 and 2, because it's meant to be dual-sided. You know there's no track on the other side. I'll explain about that later. Now this one says exit because this one, that part there, that stairs. So it was like going underground. And this is a conservatory center, of course. And that hole there is to place a minifigure. Uh, the ticket part right there. Very nice sticker. And of course the seats where the minifigures would sit. And uh, this part, um... Is actually for where the train, the times, and the trains were coming. Which is very nice. Even some same art on the back. Really does look like it. <laughs> the face really is amusing, I will admit. And of course, we have these yellow bars here. What's that for? Well, that's for your safety. You always need to make sure you stand behind the safety line for your safety. That's what they did. And in Japan, they used it yellow. Of course, there's also this exact stop and go track right here. And we just switch right here, go to the right, stop the train, to the left, and lets it go. Now, of course, I know what you may be thinking. Hey, you know, this doesn't break. It obviously breaks very easily. And sometimes, with enough force to put it down, it just goes down very easily. But how come player all still making this? when this is far superior and this obviously doesn't break. Well, that's for the fact that the track is unfortunately attached to the station. Uh, yeah, it's not meant to be taken apart. Well, sure, you can unscrew those and get the track and station separate, but now you're just left with this big piece of plastic, which unfortunately does make it unfortunate. And of course, there's also these parts here, which also stick out from the station, so even that's not optional. You know, it's meant to be one entire piece. Uh, but if I have another one of these, I can have one station here and the other station right there because this is not at the center. So meaning, something like this could be very helpful if I have another station. But of course, because there's no track on the other side, it actually has to have this on the other side as well. And that's why it says track 1 and track 2, because of this. And this is a specialized set of points that allows you to have this feature. Very nice, very cumbersome, but that's the way how Playroll did it. And you know, speaking of the East Eye set, when I assembled this, it looks a lot like that set. You could probably guess because of the station you usually hear, the set of points, how it set up like this with the uh, overhead wires and the elevated track part. It really does look like that exact set. <laughs> uh, other than that, um, the set of points, I actually just realized that uh, these set of points are actually kind of a tiny bit stiff. The other ones actually move kind of freely, but these are a tad little stiff. I don't think it really bothers that much. I got the minifigures right there. I actually got that in the conservatory, and that, of course, is an old passenger for obvious reasons. So, I just say we'll just get started. 
the train to stop. You can take the signal to go, and the train can go. You can stop the train and get like get some passengers ready. It's going to go off and on. And while we're at that, we can set it to fast speed. And let it go. And now that I see that, I, that it happens, I think the reason that the East Eye wasn't going as fast as it can is because because there are some things inside the middle and the back coach. Obviously, the back coach was the sound unit, and this middle coach was the meter coach on the East Eye I'm talking about. It caused a lot of drag on the train to go faster, but since this JR500 has nothing in these, it has no problems running them two in fast speed, and not to mention one's on a AA battery as well. Look at that gloriness. That really is one of the fastest trains I've ever got, next to the the EF66. Which even though that's a one speed unit, it goes the same exact speed as a fast speed train. That is very nice. Even from a small set, it does pack a good amount of punch, I'd say. Especially that everything it has to under. Very impressed. Well, I think that's going to be wrapping up for this video. I really did enjoy this set. I don't know not why, but it feels like a good set to me. So that's it for the video. So, bye for now.